Hey guys, welcome to vtechacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about composite function. So first we are going to learn the definition of composite function and then we are going to solve few examples. So here if f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c then the composite function of f and g that is g circle f a to c can be defined by g circle f of x is equal to g of f of x. So first let us consider here three Venn diagrams A, B and C and F is a mapping from A to B and G is a mapping from B to C and the composite function G circle F is a mapping from A to C. So here the codomain of F is B will become the domain of the function G and the domain of G circle F A would be also the domain of the function F. And the codomain of the function g circle f that is c would also be the codomain of the function g. And here g circle f of x can be defined by g of f of x. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here let f be the function from a to b and g is a function from b to c. And we have the elements of the set a as a comma b comma c. And we have the elements of the set B as X, Y and Z and the elements of the set C are 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have here the function F and the order pairs of F are A and X, B and X, C and Y and we have the order pairs of the function G as X comma 1, Y comma 2 and Z comma 2. So first let us draw here three circles of A, B and C and write the elements of the set A, A, B, C and we have the elements of the set B as X, Y and Z and the elements of the set C are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here F is a function from A to B and G is a function from B to C. So now let us map here the function F with the help of the order pairs. We have here the first order pair as a and x. So let us map here the element of A, A with the element of B, x. We have the second order pair as B and x. So let us map B with x. And the last order pair here is C and y. So let us map C with y. Now let us map here the function g. So we have the first order pair here as x and 1. So let us map x with 1. And here we have the second order pair as y, 2. So let us map here y with 2. The last order pair here is z, 2. So let us map z with 2. So here the composite function of f and g that is g circle f is a mapping from a to c. So we get here the order pairs of the function g circle f as a, 1 and b, 1 and c, 2. And now let us learn the definition of a composite function when three functions f, g and h are given. So here if f is a function from a to b and g is a function from b to c and h is a function from c to d then the composite function f, g and h that is h circle g of f is defined by h circle g of f is equal to h of g of f of x. And now let us consider four Venn diagrams. A, B, C and D and here F is a mapping from A to B and G is a mapping from B to C and here H is a mapping from C to D and here the composite function that is H circle G would be a mapping from B to D and here the composite function H circle G circle F would be a mapping from A to D. And here the composite function h circle g can be defined by h of g of x and the composite function h circle g circle f can be defined by h of g of f of x. And now let me explain this concept with the help of an example. So here let f, g and h be the real functions and f of x is equal to x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x and h of x is equal to x square. Then we have to find h circle g circle f and also h circle g circle f. 
So here the function h circle g circle f can be defined by h of g of f of x. So in order to find this, first let us find the value of g circle f of x. So it can be defined by g of f of x. And here f of x is nothing but x plus 2. So let us write this as g of x plus 2. Now let us find the value of g of x plus 2 just by replacing here x with x plus 2. We get here the function g circle f of x as x plus 2. And now let us consider h circle g circle f of x. So here it can be defined by h of g circle f of x. So here g circle f of x is nothing but x plus 2. So let us write here h of x plus 2. So we can find here h of x plus 2 just by replacing here x with x plus 2 and we get x plus 2 whole square. Now let us find here the composite function h circle g circle f. So first let us find the function h circle g of x. So it can be defined as h of g of x. So here g of x is nothing but x. So we can write this as h of x which is equal to x square. Now let us find the composite function h circle g circle f. So it can be defined as h circle g of f of x. So here it can be defined as h of g of f of x. So here we can write this as h of g of f of x is here x plus 2. So let us write here x plus 2. And now let us find the value of g of x plus 2 just by replacing the function g of x with x plus 2. So we get here h of x plus 2. And now let us find the value of h of x plus 2 just by replacing here x with x plus 2. So we get here x plus 2 whole square. By this we observe that the compound function h circle g circle f of x and h circle g circle f is equal. So by this we can conclude that h circle g circle f of x is equal to h circle g circle f. So this was a basic introduction on composite function. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vteachacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.